So I think this is the closest we're going to get to a BTS and EXO collaboration. It's a mashup of BTS's DNA and EXO's Coco Bob. So I have no idea how this is going to go. So this mashup is actually by a YouTube channel called JEM. I'll post a link of that probably down in the description. Definitely check them out because this is, I don't think this is the only mashup they did, but you can expect good stuff to come out of this channel. I figured since it's been a while since I've done reactions that this is the best jumping point to go back in because it's two awesome groups. So let's go. It's literally both of them. They sped up the tempo of DNA, it sounds like. So it's like a quicker sounding song that it's gonna be. Okay, okay. The, the thing is, is BTS and EXO harmonize in different ways. Okay. This is actually better than I thought it would be, because mashups are hard to do. But it's hard to tell because we're already in the chorus of DNA. I'm waiting for the, the Coco Bop drop, but they're like extending it. But I hear it, you hear it in the background building up? Oh, that's really good! Wow, this is... See, I keep on thinking they can't... It can't get more in depth. Or it won't layer well. I mean, there's some parts where it's like almost impossible just because of the nature of the song, but... Overall, it's not bad. Like right here, see, it sounds a little too busy. These parts, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> This is... This part is awesome, where you just hear it. It's like, okay, yeah, okay, we know you all can dance very well. You get the helix, but you gotta combine that with Coco Bop, so I don't know, throw the Coco Bop candy in there. Oh. See, so the reason why this is so cool is, I don't know how much effort went into this, but can you imagine if EXO and BTS actually put the effort to combine the groups to make an awesome song together? Where you wouldn't have these little, like, difficulties editing them together. But with a the, with the mashup like this, it's just constant, it's just constant, just non-stop beat. It's, there's not, like, a resolution to it. Okay, so I didn't expect myself to actually do this as a mashup, or do this as a reaction, I should say. But this is a way to cure all fan wars. It just cures the fan wars between both EXO and BTS, so you don't have a problem. Like, this is what makes you into an army L. First of all, if they did actually do a collab, it would do three things. One, it would end any fan wars that were occurring because it basically would be like, hey, we're both really good groups and now we're collabing together. Two, we would get to see some members just go at it. Can you imagine Chan Yol with Ratmon just going with a rap duet? You, your eels wouldn't be able to take it. And three, it would only happen in Korea. But can you imagine that you're going to see EXO in concert or BTS in concert, and then the other group just pops out. They're like, hey, we were coming in for a stroll, but here we are, we're gonna do this awesome collab song that we had planned out. It's like, how would they do dance shows? Would they even go on at the same time? Or is it one of those just treats for the fans? I feel like both groups are at the point where they can do it, and it would just make everybody happier. The problem is, and it's not really a problem, is that EXO and BTS both are so focused in whatever they are doing, you know, trying to make their music the best, trying to tour the best, that 
it's almost hard for them to probably fit a collaboration in their already busy schedules. And mashups like this are very difficult to do because of how complex each song is. It's not easy to either speed up one song or slow down another to match some sort of tempo so that it actually sounds pleasing to your ears. It's really hard right now for some reason, my head's all jumbled up to know the exact number, but you have like around 15 singers in this that you have to make sure that their voices sound perfect and aren't overwhelming each other. And in this collab, there were some parts that were overwhelming, but overall it was done really well and I actually really enjoy this because both of those songs are really good and this incorporated the parts of both songs that really make you want to dance and just really go at it. It just tastes so good. And if you have your biases basically musically fist bumping in here, it's just like, mm, can you ask for anything better? This was an amazing collab. Would you guys like to see more collabs like this or do you think I should just stick to doing reactions? Let me know down below. And if you have ideas of any collabs that are out, leave the name of them down below so I can react to them. If you like this video, please leave a like. Please subscribe if you're not really helps. And until next time, peace.